These are the adventures of the mischievous Pinocchio. Now let's go and meet him. Pinocchio. A long time ago, there was an old carpenter who lived by himself. He made wooden tables and chairs. Then one day, he made a wooden puppet. Hmm. I think I'll name him Pinocchio. Pinocchio looked so cute that the old man kissed him. At that moment, Pinocchio opened his eyes. Grandpa, hello! Pinocchio was so excited that he ran back and forth in the shop. The old man was glad to see that the boy was so happy. Pinocchio was a very mischievous boy. One day, he was playing too close to the fireplace and he accidentally burned his wooden leg. You could have been seriously hurt, Pinocchio. But don't worry, I'll soon make you a new leg. Grandpa, I'll be more careful from now on. Then one day, a cricket visited Pinocchio. Pinocchio, don't you want to become a real boy? Of course I'd like to be a real boy. What should I do? You can become a real boy if you obey your grandfather and study hard at school. His grandfather was happy that Pinocchio wanted to go to school. He started the very next day. Then one day, a puppet show came to town. Pinocchio wanted to go, but he remembered his grandfather's words. Children should never miss school. Pinocchio was confused. Pinocchio, let's go and see the show. I hear it's really a lot of fun. If you go, you'll meet a lot of friends there. Pinocchio was persuaded. He followed the fox and the cat to the puppet show. The puppet show was a lot of fun. He really enjoyed dancing with the puppets. Hmm. It was a good decision to buy that boy. Oh no! The fox and the cat sold Pinocchio to the evil show owner. Foolish Pinocchio. He doesn't know he was tricked. He's just happy. Cat, let's get out of here quickly. <laughs> the owner kept him locked in a storage room. Locked up, Pinocchio wanted to go home, but couldn't find a way out. Suddenly, a fairy appeared. You're a naughty boy. You disobeyed your grandfather and followed the puppet show. No, no, I didn't really want to do that. At that moment, Pinocchio's nose grew longer. Uh, no, really, I really didn't want to do that. This time, Pinocchio's nose grew even longer. Much longer. Pinocchio, you are telling lies. Oh, dear fairy, I'm so sorry. I won't tell lies anymore. <laughs> Pinocchio was sincerely sorry. He told the truth and his nose became shorter again. With the fairy's help, Pinocchio escaped from the puppet show. As Pinocchio was going home, a seagull called urgently to him. His grandfather had been looking everywhere for him, and he'd fallen into the sea. The seagull led him to the shore. Grandpa, where are you? This way, Pinocchio. Hurry! Following the seagull's directions, Pinocchio went to sea in a boat. Pinocchio was looking for his grandfather. Then, 
A huge whale appeared before him. The whale swallowed Pinocchio with one bite. When Pinocchio woke up, he was already inside the whale's stomach. But what's going on? Pinocchio's grandfather was there too. Grandpa! <laughs> oh, it's you, Pinocchio! Suddenly, the whale sneezed, and both of them were tossed into the sea. Since he was made of wood, Pinocchio was able to float. His grandfather caught hold of him. Pinocchio swam hard, and they returned home safely. Pinocchio's grandfather was sick for a long time. Pinocchio was no longer a mischievous boy. He took good care of his grandfather day and night. Then one day, the fairy appeared to Pinocchio again. Pinocchio, I have been watching you. You have taken good care of your grandfather. You have been very good. It's time for you to become a real boy. The fairy spun in the air over Pinocchio, and he was changed into a real boy. Pinocchio was a very good boy now. He obeyed his grandfather and attended school every day. Grandpa, read me a book, please. Sure. My good child, Pinocchio. <laughs> Pinocchio and his grandfather lived happily ever after. about that. Wasn't the story of Pinocchio's adventure a lot of fun? Don't forget that you should never tell lies. Your nose might grow long like Pinocchio's. <laughs>